Under the African Skies was the theme of the glamorous awards where the many cogs of the tourism machine gathered to honor excellence in the industry. The aim of the awards was to showcase the many facets of Nelson Mandela Bay tourism available within the metro. The winner of the youth category tonight in the NFB Tourism Awards 2024 is One of the winners in the up-and-coming youth category, Devson T. Luzain of Luzain Africa, showed just what an impact awards and recognition for one's hard work can have as he ecstatically accepted his award. Luzain creates lifestyle content showcasing his life in Kberga on social media. Right now that I've won, I've done so much for the Nelson Mandela Bay and so much content, you know, that goes out there and a whole lot of people view it and I feel like it gives a reason for some people to like visit the bay. So I feel super amazing, proud of myself for the work that I've been putting uh, through. According to one of the organizers, Melissa Palmer, the event started out as the Nelson Mandela Bay Business Event Awards. This year is the first time that businesses and leisure have been combined. We did three years of Nelson Mandela Bay Business Event Awards and ultimately at the end of the day it was, um, it was a, the next move was to make it a tourism event where we could encompass not just business tourism in the business event sector but um, a whole leisure tourism, business tourism, tourism as a whole sector because they all are the same thing. Palmer says that just being nominated is an accolade in and of itself, hence the need for such awards. Thus, those who were nominated but did not win in their category should not feel snubbed. When it comes to awards, recognition is first. So you, you are a finalist first, so you are recognized immediately, right? So you might be the winner or not the winner. It doesn't really matter. Immediately you're recognized. Um, and the fact that you're here as a finalist tonight is, is amazing. Um, if you're the winner, obviously that's a, a feather in the cap completely. But I think just being a finalist tonight is absolutely amazing. Tourism officials told the audience that one of the most impactful reasons why collaboration between the industry and the municipality is necessary is the issue of crime. The increasing levels of crime within the metro not only put Nelson Mandela Bay residents at risk, but also the tourism industry. Rampant crime that we're trying to address as a city. So the mayor spoke to a safety plan uh, that includes a whole lot of stakeholders, including uh, your law enforcement agents. The minister was here, visited us about three, three, four, four times to launch that, that safety plan. And that safety plan is important for us because if you have an unsafe tourist, you will have a problem. Our numbers have shown that we need to really re reposition ourselves. We've declined. We have not really, uh, you know, uh, you know, gone up in terms of numbers, in terms of tourism numbers, post-COVID. Our numbers uh, remain the same levels as they were pre-COVID. And so, by word of mouth, by repositioning, by strategy, by these kinds of events here, we're able then to repackage ourselves and our offering. According to the municipality, approximately 8 million tourists pass through the bay every year. Known as the adventure capital of South Africa, the Eastern Cape offers thrills for the adrenaline junkies, town trip tourism for the history buff, and safaris for the nature lover. The Eastern Cape boasts a wide variety of activities catering for everyone's needs. It has everything that people go out of the, the, the country looking for. You find that people are looking for safari, we have it. They are looking for the coastline, the beaches, we have the coastline. So everything that you that you find outside of South Africa, even in South Africa, we have it as the Eastern Cape. So we are a very rich uh, uh, pro province that has that offers a number of, uh, of di that has diverse offerings basically. Tourism officials reminded all the residents of Nelson Mandela Bay that the tourism sector contributes significantly to the economy and called on all to ensure peace and safety so that tourism can grow in the bay. For MBK News, I'm Taryn Wallman in Kabecha.